Okay. Good evening. It's 611. This is the Dighton Historical um, Commission meeting at Old Town Hall. Um, <clears throat> The listing of matters are those reasonably anticipated by the chair, which may be discussed at the meeting. Not all items listed may in fact be discussed and other items not listed may also be brought up for discussion to the extent permitted by law. Um, uh, let's stand, I'll call the meeting to order. And Pat Gales, chair. Irene Alley, member. Zachary Karen, member. Shara Costa, member. Matt Olson. Okay, um, Raph is not here tonight. He's the secretary. Does someone want to take minutes? <laughs> Irene's in his seat, so <laughs> nobody tell you to sit there. <laughs> oh, no, right I on the can, back of something. No. I can solve that. <laughs> oh, I, I can't take this seat. You're ready to bring a pencil. <laughs> I can solve that too. <laughs> Thank you, Irene. <laughs> Your pen says Morse. Uh, do you want to say remorse? Because that's probably what you're doing right now. Uh, let's stand for the pledge, please. <laughs> <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. So, um, we got the minutes from Rafa. Does anyone have any amendments or changes? Nope. All right, I'll, I'll entertain a motion to accept the minutes as submitted. So moved. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, done. Um, our budget, um, our balance as of October 31st is $1,286.13. Your conference cost hasn't processed through yet, but it will be on November's. Okay. Um, and there's no changes in our segregated schoolhouse um, gift account or donation account. And that's it for the budget right now. Um, Unfinished business, Zach, preserving memories of Dighton. Yep, I mean, I just got Cam, so I'm going to give them I, a... So sorry, I totally blanked that right out. I talked to him okay. before we left for vacation to Cam, got it all, and yep, 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 went home, and that was it. <laughs> so yeah, my, my, my email, like I said, my email wasn't hacked, but I think it just got one too many yeah, things, yeah. and it's so, so, I mean, also, you can just search for things. But it gets me to the point that I'm like, maybe I threw it out by accident as I was clearing away messages. No, I no, it, it, it never was like, there. <laughs> so, um, I mean, I'm hoping, obviously, we'll get to this farther down in the agenda, but we're still hopefully able to work with Dave. To, yeah, I did know, talk but, with Dave um, yesterday okay. and absolutely just reached out to him. So what is Cam's last name? Ventura. Yep, so that we can get that going. I know you gave me uh, his mom and his number, but I'll probably yep. talk to his mom first. Right, right. That would be appropriate, I think so. Okay, so that's slowly coming together. And um, if you're comfortable, you can start reaching out to uh, some of the other people. Um, Did you end up, I know like we kind of, you mentioned some people from the last meeting, but does anybody else cross your mind? No, I, I, I mean, I mean, like, more recently, not supposed to be talking about this. Yeah, past, but yeah, no, I'll send you. Um, we'll just compare our list and see what to get started. Okay, with. and because like, I mean, I, you probably have more contact information too. Okay, so we'll work on that. The walking tour, the pamphlet. Um, I got your message about um the the blurb that the exact blurb that we didn't need, but condensing it to the wording the time I made sure to use. Um, so in any pictures that you were didn't know if Myrna happened to have, would they be something that would be in her possession slash on her computer or in the historical society that maybe I can go and, and look through? Um, 
we're looking for pictures for um, the customs house and right because we had black and white images but if you look it's like well i think that might be from the 70s or 80s so or ones... even like even like postcard type drawings of them they don't have to be yeah. exactly photographs per se they don't exist but it was the customs house I, I think there's an older one i saw today um and the yacht club too i know we kind of pretty much exhausted that one but you never know the yacht club i asked them if they had yeah. any and i know the historical society doesn't if they don't if the yacht club doesn't then i doubt anyone does right they what yeah. they sent was basically what they had when we first right. asked um right. and the other one is if, if anything the aerial shots from the illustrated maps the bird's eye maps those mm -hmm. are the closest we're going to get and even those I don't even know if they even caught any detail, but no, but no. And the Darius Perry house, that's the same thing. Correct. You know, um, I really haven't seen one, an old one of that. Did you bring, you had old pictures. I had postcards. Was I supposed to bring them today? Cause I thought you were, yeah, but, but they were, that was the quorum house. Just remind me cause I had no. Yeah. I, I, the only reason I know is because I saw your text message about the button oh. and that was ahead of it. And I said, oh, she'll remember. Because <laughs> I didn't remember until I saw that. So. But they're basically the ones that we had with um, the postcard ones. Because I think that's what they used like from the 1912 Bicentennial book. All right. I, so I guess, is there any like... Do you want, I guess what I'm trying to say is, do I need, do you need or want me to make myself available to go to society and look if we feel like we don't want to wait on anybody? Or do you feel like anyone that has possession of things that's not at the society itself? Do you think Murray um, has anything personally? She didn't get back to me, okay. you know, so let me follow up with her. Um, if, if I don't hear anything between now and a week before the December meeting, we'll think we'll just call it at that point. Is that yeah. okay on it? I yeah. mean, we're not going to be doing this, obviously, until probably like the, the spring. So I guess there really is no, you know. No, it, but if we get the pamphlet together and printed, then, you know, we could. It's an audience budget. Yeah. We mm -hmm. want, want oh, Well, it, for, come, it comes out point. of the um, donation that we got from Bay Bank. So that would be there. But I think that if, if I'm correct, anything that doesn't get spent within a like within the fiscal year will go to free cash so mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. even donation line i'm pretty sure no the donation no, line no stays. no that'll okay. stay good okay. because that has because that uh, makes me nervous so that's, yeah. that's on a budget that the townspeople have but you, yeah. you still got to the end of june <clears throat> okay yeah but the donation line stays because those are the yeah. accounts good yeah. okay so the town can say we'll take that. Those are we'll take that person back then. certain yeah. things. So okay. you cannot. But, oh, what she was saying, you know, it needs to be spent in the current budget, but the current budget goes to June of twenty. Right. So our but budget when it's donation yes. is different. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The historical markers will uh, just table until the next meeting when Rafa is here, and hopefully he has some information about our new vendor. And then under pres preservation, um, our West Dighton survey. So Stacy has finished the field work on all the buildings with the exception of the poor house. And we were able to contact the gentleman who was living there and um, they're trying to coordinate a date so that she can go on the property and take pictures. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. We have a sister. She's the poor house oh, okay. on Smith Street. Um, all the field work is done. So she's now working on the drafts of the survey forms. And tomorrow night- Does he go in? Is he gonna let her- I don't know. And that'd be neat, huh? I know, yeah. Um, you know, I kind of like just got the ball rolling and then I said, it's up to you two to pick dates and all of yeah. that. And so hopefully they'll have a chat. And <laughs> I did offer to be there if she wanted me to be. <laughs> So. Is there anything in any of the old town reports about the poorhouse? Some of the earlier ones, yes. And I think, the, and there's some stuff um, that you see, there's some stuff in the vault that we did that has um, records of the, of the poor farm. Records as in, I, I can come up with records of what they spent and what yeah, they took in. Yeah. I mean, records of like how many people were there, 
I'm not sure. You'd have to look at that. Yeah. Maybe we can make it like end of next week or something. Yeah. After town meeting, after after everything's quiet. After, yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, tomorrow night, I have an appointment with the board of selectmen at six o'clock to update them on our survey. Um, the way back, I think in the spring. They had asked for an update and I said, you know, maybe in September sometime and since September we've been trying to coordinate and so tomorrow night's the lucky night. Um, so just a, like a, a summary of what we've done and I'll talk a little bit about the National Register District like I did when we had um, the people from North Dayton here so that they have the same information about the differences. Okay. Um, does anyone have anything else under preservation? Okay. Under report to CPC, there's nothing new to report. Our request for funding um, is on this, the warrant for the 14th. And the library building committee is making progress. Um, procurement has been sent out for the plumbing. The BP students will be working there again. Uh, are, they, are they paid? Was it part of their class? It's part of their class. class. Cool. Yeah. Um, so, is it, so it's free for the town? Yeah. Cool. Well. The HVAC bids are almost ready to go out, or no, probably have gone out, and the deadline is mid December. So there was discussion about the width of the exterior doors. Um, the ramp, when you're looking at the building, the ramp on the parking lot side. That's the main entrance and access for the wheelchair. So it looks like the door isn't wide enough and that's a historic door. So I'm not quite sure it's not wide enough to meet the ADA yeah. um, compliance. So we have to have a discussion about what we're gonna do about that. So I'll be talking with Jim Aguiar and Jonathan Gale. Um, Would that be the same thing like adding a ramp to a building? Like, you know, well, it didn't, have a, it didn't have a ramp that takes away the historic integrity. It would this fall along the same lines? Like ma making the doorway historically, I mean, you know, making the doorway bigger obviously takes away historical integrity, but if it's for an ADA. I don't think you have, yeah. I, you probably, you have to make the building accessible. Um, and there is grant money that they're using that for accessibility. So the question I think really becomes how are you going to do it to maintain as much integrity as you can? I have to really talk with, you know, yeah. I haven't really had a conversation with either Jim or Jonathan about the specific details of that and just what they're thinking as far as solutions. It's really up to them to come up with the solutions and then we look at it and say if it's yeah. accessible. So we're, we're not the architects of engineers. Yeah. 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 Um, so I did ask, you know, to be part of that whole discussion. So you remember when they took the columns down, we talked about, um, using the best of them again. Yeah, well, the columns are in worse shape than anticipated. Um, but Mike Barraby from the highway department is going to take on the column project. And he just does such fantastic work. Yeah. Um, so they've been come up with a plan on how to use them or, you know, to keep the integrity of the building. Um, one idea, I guess, is to use, you know, there was like these bolster things that were at the top and bottom to use those on them. And then maybe a, a, a just a square underneath so that the, the columns become at the right height. Most of them, I know like when we first talked about it, we brainstormed possibly like using them kind of half joked about it, but using to make the time capsule or something, yeah. but it looks like we might be able to use them again as columns. No, so the rest of the columns that they were looking at oh, are in okay. worse condition too, because there was 10. Oh, okay. Four of them were like not really good. So the others are not as a, in as good condition as gotcha. we thought. Okay. So trying to figure out how to, you know, incorporate them into the building. Right. Hmm. Um, so I will be talking to them about that. Um, 
America's 250th Anniversary Committee. We also have an article on special town warrant for up to $4,000 from the town. It's a matching, um, matching money. So if we raise 2,000, the town gives us 2,000. If we raise 4,000, the town will give us 4,000. Um, so we'll be fundraising. And basically we asked for the money just for the reenactment. We had plans for all kinds of other things, but given that the budget constraints, we said, we'll just go for that. Is that gonna be the biggest expensive thing, the reenactment? Yeah, probably. Um, I did talk at the veterans breakfast mm -hmm. And then I did talk at Veterans Day, you know, about it. So just to get the, the word out, um, so people are, in, you know, hopefully are interested. Um, we're talking about possibly creating a coin to celebrate America's 250 and mm -hmm. you know, as a fundraiser. We've had two informational tables, one at the fall fair at the church and one at the arts festival. And generally, it's a positive response. You know, um, people are funny. You know, they either stop by and chat, or they totally like walk by and kind of like <laughs> they don't know look you. at you. <laughs> They're like, yeah. But you know, it's just exposure. Away? It's exposure. Yeah. You know, so that's yeah. good. So those are the updates there. Our next meeting is December tenth. At six, I can't believe we're already heading towards that. Oh my gosh. I just want to mention about that. So I'm directing um, the Luther Elementary's production of Elf yep. Junior. The show isn't until the following Tuesday. Typically we rehearse on Monday and Wednesdays. I don't know if that's getting close to the show, if we're going to add a rehearsal on that day. If we do, it won't be as late until six. It might be like five or five thirty. So by the time I get here, I could be here a little late. Okay. But just to keep you okay. guys up. All right, thank you. Um, we had a request by Samantha um, Schechter. Yeah, Samantha Schechter um, to be an intern. She's the daughter of Stephanie Schechter in the assessor's office. Okay. And she's at UMass Dartmouth and she's looking for an internship um, for her sociology and anthropology class. So, you know, we chatted through email and um, she needs 120 hours beginning January 21st until April 30th. Um, Do you want to help out with the so world history thing? She could help out. Yeah, she has a couple of things to tie into. I thought of the um, brochure that we're doing for the Old Bristol Path to do the research and put that together would be one. Another would be we've started researching the owners of the Nat Crane, Nate Crane house, Nat Crane. Nate's my grandson, Nat <laughs> <laughs> um, And I got it back, you know, as far as I could and so, you know, see if she could, you know, get it back a little bit further. Um, so there's that, she could help out with, you know, um, yeah. Interviews. Sure. Um, she did run it by her, um, her professor, and they said it meets the parameters for an internship. It's unpaid. They made sure that that it was unpaid. But it's not for credit, at least, right? <laughs> but it's for her credit. Yes. So they did waste paid. And that you know what I mean? It's not like it's. We're not spending money. No, right? I guess <laughs> nothing's with you an internship. It's not you don't get paid for your pocket, and it's not fast yeah. card. It's like well, it's volunteering, but at least then it'll count right. for it fast. So, um, she has you know extensive writing experience within the sociology and anthropology major. Um, so, uh, I did check with um, Ralph Taco. Is that how you say his name? The town administrator. Oh. And he said, it, you know, there's nothing to say not to do it um, in town. So we're good. At the end, she'll just need something from the, from the town saying that she completed right. it. And we'll keep track of hours and all that, I'm sure. She's responsible for getting us like the exact information that she would need to do in the, you know, the whole process. So um, that's all on her plate to mm -hmm. provide to us. Okay, cool. Um, so I'll 
Ralph also suggested that I mention it tomorrow night at the Board of Selectmen's meeting, which I will do. So, um, she lived in Dayton. Her mom? Um, Summer 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 Summer, yeah. Her, her, her mom, too. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so I'll entertain a motion to. Uh, Have Samantha Schechter join us as an unpaid intern in January of 2025. Oh, she wouldn't start. She wouldn't start until then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so moved. Is there a second? Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Wonderful. All right. Next is. I think that's kind of exciting. Yeah. Have we in like, any part in town had a big turn before? Like a like a no, uh, <laughs> I I know they've had interns before. Um, I know there was one that worked in I think the board of selectmen's office. Yeah, I, I thought there was one in um, accounting with Serena. Maybe. Yeah. Like recently. Like Not before they hired. Uh, oh, so with it, yeah. Cool. So. Um, next is we received a letter of resignation from David Marvell from the commission, and I'm pretty sure it's on the agenda for tomorrow night, the selectmen's meeting. So I'll entertain a motion to accept Dave Marvell resignation with thanks and appreciation. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And thank you to Dave. And he is willing to work, you know, with us, like with the studio. For, and stuff like channel that. Yeah. That channel's not unintended, but is at, with like with cable. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So um, I just got a letter from Mass Historical Commission. And it was about the Oak Energy Center and the Walker Cemetery, oh. number 38. Basically, the Mass Historical Commission agrees with their report and saying that. Um, any plan up there of that project area has to have an avoidance and protection plan that should be developed to protect um, the Walker Cemetery. So um, I also shared the letter with Lisa um, on the Conservation Commission. Was that something that was already part of their plans anyway? I or don't something know. that we helped make sure it would happen? I don't, I don't know. But now they have to get yeah, right. Either way. Oh, yeah, yeah I'm just yeah. kind of curious. Yeah. yeah. So, unless so that uh, Oak Street yeah. solo home. Yeah. All right. Does anybody have anything else? I'm good. Anything else? No? Well, in that case, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. And we are adjourned. And let me stop. Uh, 6.35. Um, the record, the record. Wait a minute, oh, where did it go? Oh. <laughs>